Hey everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to find the sum of even digits of a number in Java. So let's get started. So currently I am having here an empty class and a function. So first we will be getting that number as the input from the user. So for that we need the scanner class. So before using the scanner class you have to import this particular util package. It's going to be import java.util.asterisk. So do that and it's going to be capital S scanner. Let me name it as input equal to new scanner and inside that is going to be system dot in yeah and the next line it's going to be int n n be the number equal to input dot i'll be having this next int yeah so this is fine and let me just also have a system dot out like the print of statement system dot out dot print yeah i will just go with enter a number and I think this should come over the top at first. Yeah, we just cut it. Yeah, this is now fine, I guess. Yeah. So first I will show you how to find the sum of digits. And after that, I will show you uh, like how to find the sum of even digits because it's just one line of code after finding the sum of digits. It's going to be like a piece of cake. So as usual, we will be using the while loop to break down each and every digit of a number. So it's going to be while and our terminating condition is going to be n greater than zero okay that is n corresponds to our this number or the input number that we're getting from the user so i will just type the code at first and later i will be explaining you how this particular code is going to work so it's going to be three lines we will be having a reminder okay that reminder or the digit so let me name it as d over here so our digit d will be equal to our number modulus of 10 so this modulus basically breaks down each digit from the number so if we have one two three this number 1, 2, 3 mod 10 will give us the 3. So if the number is 12, 12 mod 10 will give us 2. So this particular statement just breaks and gives us the last digit of any number. So that's what it does in a nutshell. I will later explain you further in the upcoming steps. So in the next line, we'll be finding the sum. So let me have sum equal to sum plus 10. Yeah. So I will just initialize in sum equal to 0. This is fine. And next thing, n equal to n slash 10 that's it and later we'll be just printing the sum and just paste it yeah i will just go with sum that's it so this is the code for finding the sum of digits of a number so now i'll be explaining you how this basically works so yeah so we are getting the number let's consider our number to be one two three and i'll have n so n is at first one two three it comes over here d d equal to n mod 10 so 123 mod 10 will give us the remainder which is 3 so our remainder is 3 at first d is 3 at first and what happens here is that let me just comment it yeah sum equal to sum plus d so initially our sum is 0 so it will be sum equal to 0 plus d that is 3 initially our sum is going to be 3 and this particular statement just eliminates the last digit from our number so let we are having a number 123 right so it's going to be n equal to 123 slash 10 this just gives a quotient. So quotient is going to be 12 over here. So this line of statement basically just eliminates the last digit, completely removes the last digit. And this line just extracts the last digit. It's not going to make any change to our number. But this particular statement eliminates the last digit and completely changes our number itself because we are assigning this quotient to our number itself again. So after the first iteration of this while loop, our number is going to be 12. So n is now 12 now. It is not 123. So it comes again d equal to number n is 12 now 12 mod 10 is going to be 2 it's not 3 d will be 2 sum equal to sum plus d our sum earlier was 3 and our d is 2 so it's going to be 3 plus 2 which is going to give 5 and our number is 12 now 12 slash 10 is going to give us 1 so at the end of the second iteration our number is going to be 1 yeah and it's just same thing again 1 mod 10 is not 0 1 mod 10 is 1 which is going to be 1 and some d is 1 again so plus 1 will give us 6 and here is the main part our number is 1 now 1 slash is 10 is 0 all right yeah 1 mod 10 is 1 1 slash 10 is 0 and at the end our number becomes 0 it comes over here while 0 greater than 0 condition is obviously false and the void loop basically breaks and at the end we will be getting the sum printed our sum is 6 so 1 plus 2 plus 3 will give us 6 that's a code it's 
So just it's so simple as that. So yeah, so first let me run and check if this works. If this works, finding the sum of even or odd digit is, we can do it in a flash. Yeah, let me just now save it. I think we don't get any errors. Yeah, so for running it, it's going to be Java C. Yeah, no errors and let me just now compile it. Yeah, I will go with one, two, three, four, three. So I think we need to get 13 in the output. So here you can see I have got 13 over here. So now let me show you how to find the even digits. So you need to just come over here, come to this particular step, like the sum, you need to like enclose this particular sum within a if condition. That if condition will check if that particular digit is even or odd. That's it. So I'll just come here if, for checking it's even, just we need to like have a modulus with two. If that number mod two gives us zero, that number is an even number. Simple, right? So digit modulus of two equality zero, then when we will be adding that particular number. So I will just have it over here. Yeah. So let me just take the exact same 123 find. So doing the first iteration, our D is going to be, let me just comment this. Yeah. Yeah. At first we will be having the D as three because 123 mod 10 will give us three. So our D will be three at first. So it's going to be D equal to three and it will come over here. 3 mod 2 is not equal to 0, so it won't get added. Our sum will still remain as 0. That's the initial value over here. And it goes here, n equal to n slash 10, our number becomes 12, then d value is 2. But now, 2 mod 2 equals 0, right? So it will this if condition is true, so it's going to come here and sum plus 2 will be equal to 2, yeah? Because the even number is getting added, because we have a condition that works only for even numbers. After this, our digit is getting shortened by another digit, like another digit is removed. So it will be one. So one, one mod two is not equal to zero. So it doesn't go inside this. At the end, we'll be having two, which is the sum of even digits in the number 123. Yeah, that as simple as that. It's so simple, this code. Yeah, let me just now run it. So I think this particular step is quite complex. If you like understand and go through the right and right and see the logic, it's just a piece of cake. So I'm saving it again and recompiling it and I will run it. So I will go with number two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So we have the even digits as two, four, six, 12, 20. I need to get, we need to get 20, the output. That's the even digit sum. Yeah, I'm getting 20, which is basically two plus four plus six plus eight and this is how you do it in java and i hope you would have found this video useful i've also done many other tutorials in java c c plus plus python node.js react.js mongodb so do check other videos of my channel subscribe me thanks for watching